Hi! Welcome to our topic, Polynomial Equation. With your teacher, Charlie, are you one of those who experiences so many problems in life and doesn't want to add those with math problems you experience in school? Or are you one of those who got challenged to solve every problem they've met? I remember what Noreen, an unknown author, said that life is a polynomial equation with a leading exponent of positive infinity. So, you will never run out of solutions. This time, help me to discover what does he mean in relation to our topic, polynomial equation. First, to fully understand what polynomial equations are, let us look at the concept of terms and expressions. For example, plus sign and minus sign, which means we have three terms, 12xy, 34z, and 5. Now, we can move on to the most important concept in algebraic expressions. It's the concept of polynomials. As you can see, the word has been colored into two parts. Poly means many, and nomial means parts or terms in algebraic expressions. And that's how the word polynomial comes about. And if we will equate it to zero, it will be called polynomial equations. And it has only positive integers. A polynomial can be an expression of just one term, two terms, and three terms, or even in higher number of terms. All these categories comes with one roof, which is polynomial. Expressions in one term are called monomial, two terms are binomial, and three terms are trinomial. Mono is 1, bi is 2, and tri is 3. Let us look for a few examples. 3, 4x, 5ab squared are monomial, and also polynomial. Example of binomial are 6 plus x and 7xy minus z. Plus sign and minus sign separate the terms. The example for trinomial is 8 plus a plus b. It has three terms, 1, 2, and 3. Another example is 9cd plus e plus 10. You can use any letters of the alphabet. And an example of these terms is 2x plus 3 plus 4y plus 5z. It has four terms. Remember, a polynomial is an expression that has one or more terms. Actually, there are a lot of things you should know about polynomials. It has classifications by terms and by its degree. But we will now go on how we can use polynomial equations in our real-life situation. Are you ready? That's great! Now, here's our sample problem. Suppose that you have a tree which is supported by a wire anchored in the ground 5 feet from its base. The wire is 1 foot longer than the height that it reaches on the tree and you want to find the length of the wire. Is it possible? Yes, it is. We will just let x be the height that reaches on the tree and let x plus 1 be the length of the wire. We will use Pythagorean theorem since we can form a right triangle. So we have c squared equals a squared plus b squared and our equation will be by means of substitution. Then simplify. We now have x plus 1 times x plus 1 equals x squared plus 25. By using FOIL method, we will have x squared plus x plus x plus 1 equals 
x squared plus 25. Then, we will combine like terms. x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals x squared plus 25. Transform into standard form. x squared minus x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 25 equals 0. Perform mathematical operations. Now we have x equals 12. So, x plus 1 equals 13. Now we find out that 13 feet is the length of the wire. This is just one of the problems we can solve using polynomial equations. Some of these are finding anything that is unknown. Now, you have learned that math is not just in school, but it is everywhere. Keep on practicing and spread the love of learning. Until next time!